how have you put together uh, for discussion purposes. So again, uh, take this uh, opportunity to be a bit more open-minded uh, on both ways. Uh, we also want to learn from you guys because uh, again, um, you will have a lot more field experience uh, in your event groups. Uh, and when you have more minds coming together, we are getting uh, more ideas that is solidified uh, and for us to uh, collaborate from there. So uh, we take the discussion in a more, uh, what I call, um, learning opportunity. So that way we know how you guys have pieced together and probably we can share the uh, entire energy system-wise uh, how can that be possible uh, with the uh, loads that you could have prepared? Okay. So I think uh, everybody is coming in slowly. So just give us a few more minutes uh, before we can get the ball going. Uh, so we will go to um, from group one all the way to uh, group eight. I believe there's nobody in group seven. So yeah. we will take right. from group one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. That's why we go in that order. Uh, so that's the way we... Uh, and uh, probably it will be good to have one member, at least one member in your group, uh, who's able to provide some uh, clarifications uh, in the presentations for us to see. So will that be okay for everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So your name is Mike Go Kargan. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, so uh, we shall start. Uh, again, we don't want to hold back your Sunday back. Um, will yes. we, can we get uh, group number one, okay, uh, members from group number one uh, to share screen and to show what have you guys prepared? Group one members, anybody? Members from group one? Nobody from group one? May I edit, May I edit the, the member? Yeah, so again, uh, members, anybody from group one, when you prepared your training, uh, specific conditioning today, earlier discussed, uh, will somebody be able to share that? Ashwani made the presentation. Ashwani, are you online? 
sir one... but i am not able to share in this uh, share in the whatsapp is that okay yeah you can send to me and i can uh, uh, i can share for you guys no worries you can share to me in the whatsapp group and i can uh, download and uh, i can present it for you guys and then you can uh, share the details uh, yes you uh, you can share sir yes Okay, those of you who are unable to share your documents on your own, you can only send it to the WhatsApp group. I can uh, open it up and I can share for you guys. No worries. I'm sharing in the strength and conditioning group, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, in our group, nobody has a laptop, so just we did in the mobile itself. Yes, understood. No worries. Only few exercises we mentioned. Not all, only few things. No worries. Uh, we will see what is comes out of it. We will keep from there. Just give me some minutes. It's opening up soon. Okay. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. You all can see this, right? Uh, oh, you want me to zoom in it a bit it more? Is, uh, I can see. Wait, uh, no, 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 I can. I can. Okay. Uh, in the in the drive drive phase, drive this one. Mm -hmm. uh, wall drills. Mm -hmm. Ten into three set, ninety percent. Rest two minutes in between. Mm -hmm. In the drive phase, in the, the speed, the speed in the drive phase. Okay. So strength sledge run twenty meters, eighty-five to ninety percent. Three into three mm -hmm. set. Uh, uh, repetitions three uh, like recovery is three to five minutes. Mm -hmm. In endurance, we have given fifty meter run, fifty meter jog, four meters lap. Mm -hmm. uh, into three set, two minute rest. Okay. Uh, flexibility, lower body, all stretching exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, acceleration phase, 30 meter accelerations, uh, 3 into 3 set, 95%. Mm -hmm. uh, strength uphill, 30 meters or uh, 20 meters, you can add. Uh, 4 into 3 set, 90%. Uh, recovery, 3 minutes. Set recovery, 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. Endurance, uh, 50 job, 50 run. Uh, 1 into 5, 80%. 2 minute recovery between. Mm -hmm. uh, even uh, all body stretching is there again uh, maximum velocity 20 to 30 meters 95 percent 3 into 2 set recovery is 3 to 5 minutes 5 minutes in set recovery mm -hmm. uh, it's 60 meters it's like about 60 mm -hmm. meters distance it is like 20 to 30 meters like uh, divide like that mm -hmm. uh, strength bounding 60 meters in the maximum velocity phase 3 into 3 set uh, two two, uh, recovery two to three minutes and five minutes in the set. Mm -hmm. uh, sh sh short step Kal drills. Kalapari. Step drills, step drills, short step drills. Mm -hmm. Footwork is there. Ten seconds into three into three. Uh, uh, the stra yeah, in the endurance, 150 run, 50 fast, 50 run, 50 fast, uh, three into two. Recovery uh, three minutes and uh, five minutes set recovery mm -hmm. okay. uh, and the lower body stretching maintenance phase 120 meters two into three uh, recovery is five minutes uh, set recovery is eight to nine, eight minutes and 95 percent mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, strength long bounding 100 meters 3 into 2 95 percent two minute recovery stay run 25 step uh, 3 into 5 95 percent Mm -hmm. Recovery two minute, rest mm -hmm. five minute. Uh, uphill. It, yeah. This is all like it's not a one day, but uh, there are yeah. sequence of exercise which sure. we can do. Uh, uphill, uphill one twenty meters, three no, to five. No, recovery no, three no, minute, no, rest no, recovery no. five minute, and ninety five percent, ninety percent. Endurance two hundred meter run, hundred meter jog, uh, ten reps, seventy percent. Okay. And flexibility. Great. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Brother uh, Kavit, do you want to share some things? Yeah, I unmute. I, I just get in. So um, let me read a little bit. Okay, sure. Okay, I listened to her uh, presentation already. Mm -hmm. let, let me check a little bit and then I give comment later. Okay, can. Uh, Okay. Okay, sure. So for myself, um, in terms of uh, we will go down from what we call um, uh, structure wise. So we look from uh, exercise mm -hmm. intent, and then we look for the intensity matching to the exercise, and then uh, we look for um, volume, uh, how much you're doing it, and then of course the recovery uh, to that. Uh, so if I have to take the first trip, uh, the entire uh, speed step uh, for the different layers, um, pretty much the idea around uh, acceleration, uh, because uh, drive uh, will not be uh, at optimal level because it requires a little bit more uh, focus space. So 90% uh, will pretty much hit the required, what we call um, intensity. Uh, drills wise, wall drill wise, uh, I think it is the intent to teach the whole entire drive uh, element in it, so, so which is good. Uh, so it is where it teaches the uh, stationary movements that you want to introduce. Um, again, when you mention ninety percent uh, in the wall drill, Ashwini, uh, what uh, will it be with resistance or without resistance? When you mention the ninety percent intensity, it's without the resistance. Okay, so uh. Speed, yeah, we are in speed with so resistance. We are leaning against the wall, I believe, and then we're yes. doing the wall. Drill. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, again, um, when you mention 90% effort, uh, because the effort will be. Should uh, be 100, 90 to 100. Yeah, at least 200 because it has stationary yes. movements. So again, uh, when you put 90%, yeah. it doesn't match us, unless yes. you include, let's say, uh, resistant band work. Resistance, uh, okay. Yes, okay. if you have resistant band work, let's say at the ankle area, and then you're still doing okay. the same wall drill, uh, then mm. probably it can match the intensity of 90%. So again, okay. while the intensity uh, focus is, is in the correct zone, uh, mm. but um, the exercise and the resistance uh, doesn't seem to have a match. So uh, okay. this is you guys can really look into when you're using such drills, uh, one of the things okay. to use. Uh, 30 meter acceleration, uh, 95%. Uh, again, it's going to be very much um, uh, what I call um, uh, moving into speed element of it. Will there be anything that... Maybe... Intensity should be high. Uh, yeah, 95 is okay. 95 is intensity should be high. Uh, yes, maybe 95. Maybe up uh, to about 95, oh. 98 is still okay. Uh, uh, but in terms of uh, acceleration wise, uh, do you have anything? Uh, okay, you already have your sledge for the strength in the drive phase. Uh, but when it comes to acceleration, would you be still will be using only uphill runs uh, for the strength part, uh, or will you be uh, having other things? Uh, uphill is the only strength part. Basically, like we can add include weights also, but I have not mentioned here. Okay. So weights, I have one confusion with regarding like we can do clean and all, but in acceleration phase, how it's gonna help that I don't know. Okay, Ken. But yeah, up, up fly added, yes. Okay, good. Uh, Ken. Uh, so that's not so bad. Uh, in terms of the acceleration, uh, for maximum speed, um, you have twenty to thirty meters. Uh, I assume it's a fly-in. 
it will be flat. Am I am, am I right to say that, or how do we how do I read that? When you put twenty to thirty meters, is it a flying speed, or is it uh, starting from zero? Will be flying. Will be flying, flying. in. Ah, okay, good. So what yes. will be good for us to uh, understand when you all put such things in in uh, in future is to show what is the flying distance. That means what is the uh, pickup speed distance. Let's see, let's say you could put 20 meters acceleration into 20 meters uh, high speed running and then probably a deceleration as well. So you have the entire, uh, let's say 60 meters, uh, by where it's, it's broken up in sections where you're focusing on the middle portion as the main area of focus. So uh, that would be good to indicate. Uh, that's why I see you are 60 meters at the bottom. Uh, is it done separately or is it going to be in in, uh, in support the maximum speed? It's combined, so it's combined. Uh, Vira? Yes, brother. Um, let, let me share something. Yes, sure. In in the maximum speed, in the maximum speed uh, program, uh, mm -hmm. normally the distance should be getting, getting a, bit, a bit more longer. Mm -hmm. Maybe 20 acceleration and 40 uh, and That's 45 maximum. fly yes fly yeah. to try to try to uh, be at the maximum speed as much as they can or you can also can use in out mm -hmm. in and out and in and out uh, to uh, increase the maximum speed or you can use the increasing speed Increasing mm. speed, you understand? 60 meter increasing speed. Dang, 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 dang. And try to maintain the maximum speed at the last 30 meters. Okay. Okay, huh? okay. okay. thank you. Yep. And all this should be done close to um, maximum velocity. So again, the buildup of men, uh, mentioned by uh, the increasing speed is to drive towards the maximum intensity uh, level. That's what you are looking for. Okay? Okay? Okay. okay. Good. Um, uh, speed endurance, uh, maintenance-wise, uh, I think the distance could be anywhere from um, 80 to 120, 110. Would that be okay? Okay, so between 80 to 120, this is normally uh, the very typical speed endurance distance. But again, uh, let's try to move away from uh, putting uh, absolute numbers uh, of distance. You can work on time base as well. So again, uh, if you use the energy system, if you're using time base, then use the time as your guide uh, for this kind of endurance maintenance work. So the way you can see uh, if the athlete improves, Naturally, uh, the ability to hold that velocity uh, longer um, in terms of distance, even though running at the same duration. So it shows that um, that's its ability to hold. So again, uh, we try to shift into more into the uh, time-based uh, efforts rather than distance space. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Thank you, sir. I think for strength wise, I think the sledge uphill for drive and acceleration is perfectly okay. Uh, I think uh, you have the same uh, idea. Um, when we come to maximum speed, uh, um, uh, bounding alone uh, in terms of contact time uh, might not be uh, matching the maximum okay. velocity effort. What you can okay. do is you can do a bound into a sprint. That means okay. you pick up a high speed bound and then you go into a sprint action. So that will connect oh. the, uh, what do we call the contact time that will be required for maximum velocity. That's good. That oh. is, uh, you, you try to do the bowels to, to increase the neuron muscular and immediately you link the neuron muscular that already uh, recruit into sprint action. That is very good. Yesterday, I already mentioned in complex training. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. okay. So you can do that. So always remember uh, to help you all to understand, look for duration of uh, how long does the athlete uh, foot stays on the ground for the different mm. phase. If the athlete foot is going to be very fast, then I need to find um, exercises that can also help you to um, imitate or uh, provide support to improve that. 
So you can do things. Um, okay, again, okay. so there you can do that. Uh, again, uh, down slope runs if it's available mm -hmm. for you all to do that high speed, or if not, yeah. you have the use of assisted runs, assisted um runs you can do. You can also use yeah. them. So that could also yeah. help you to uh, replace them. Oh. Okay, uh, long bound uh, in hundred meters uh, stair. I think up till uh, I think these are pretty much uh, conditional based. But again, uh, you do want to run too far out for uphill runs. Uh, work and be careful on the gradients because the gradients mm -hmm. will have an impact on again the speed quality. So again, what you want to do you you teaching um, speed maintenance. So you still mm -hmm. want to keep that in mind. When you are preparing uh, some of these uh, activities to help you to guide you. Okay. Okay. Uh, for endurance wise, I think um, it's pretty much uh, general. Okay. Uh, two minutes is recovery, 50 run, 50. Uh, um, yeah, brother. Uh, for endurance, for oh. dry phase, it should not have endurance. Yes. <laughs> No need to put no no need to put anything on there. Yeah, the dry face uh, is explosive, so not uh, endurance is all. You no, no need to train endurance at the dry, dry face. Only also think, in acceleration phase. Exactly. No need to, okay. So okay. your okay. endurance could be across. I mean, you just do one uh, element of endurance, just as uh, what I, what we call as a one unit. So you don't need to do it for phase uh, specific. It could be just a general uh, speed related uh, endurance development. So, just you can do that. So, you can only do, do each phase, but you can just cut across. Okay. So, okay. You know, okay. remember mm -hmm. uh, when you prepare access activities, we want to be also be very realistic. Uh, do we need to have endurance at that phase? We okay. don't need, then it's okay. I, you can leave it blank. Again, we create one single template, it's just to provide support. If you don't need that area to be the input involved, you can remove that. Huh? So you can okay. There, huh? okay. Good, okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Uh, flexibility. I think. Uh, in terms of general flexibility, anything is uh mobility based. Uh, hurdle mobilities. Um, again, uh, uh general uh movement related uh, work uh, can be used there. Yeah? So again, uh, be more um what I call uh, liberal. But again, uh, flexibility, we also want to be mindful that we also do want to lose the muscular tension part of it. So they still have to maintain a certain level of tension that you want to have for uh, sprint related events. Okay? Thanks. Okay, good. So um, just update the document accordingly so that we will, and we use it for tomorrow uh, from here. At least you have all this uh, updated and then we can use it for tomorrow when we have the actual planning aspect of it, when we bring all this exercise into the application. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Brother Akavik, anything you want to add on? It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. And the all, all pictures is uh, is good understanding. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. So uh, um, We can also uh, use uh, uh, some exercises regarding uh, hip flexor extensor. Yes, in you can do that. Uh, that can come under uh, uh, tomorrow. We will discuss. This will be more uh, applied version. That could be becoming more under what I call uh, development part of it, which will combine. Uh, so you can do that. So tomorrow, when I share on the classification of exercise, probably you can bring all this into the element. So the idea is very good. Keep in mind tomorrow we want all to come out more. So today, at least we have a good um, understanding how you guys are able to piece these exercises. Okay, Thanks. so good one, Nabil. Okay, can we have uh, group two? Group two, anybody from group two, guys? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Carolyn. Yeah, Are you able to share screen? I think so. Okay, great. So um um our group members is quite few. No worries. Yeah. So this is our dis discussion. Uh, after our discussion. Mm -hmm. And um. 
and I'm also new to coaching in chart and field. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is our discussion. So for dry face, for hurdles, uh, for speed, we do crossover hurdles drills. Mm-hmm. Uh, three three sec and one sec is uh, three times with ten hurdles, eighty percent intensity and one minute rest. Mm-hmm. So for strength strange part, we jump uh we do jump over hurdles three times three, at eighty percent intensity and one minute rest. So mm-hmm. that is nothing to do with the dry face endurance mm-hmm. and flexibility is dynamic stretching and acceleration speed resistant runs 20 meters three sacks five times 90 percent uh, intensity with two minutes recovery and also 10 to 20 meters acceleration run three to five times uh, three set five times 90 percent with two minute recovery Mm-hmm. For endurance is 10 to 40 meter run, three sets, three times, 70% one minute recovery. And okay. for flexibility, we do uh, harder mobility like uh, uh, the hip flexor, stretching and all. Mm-hmm. For high velocity transition, block stuck to one hurdles, to two hurdles, to three hurdles. So Block start to one hurdle, we repeat three times, 80% intensity with four minute recovery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, after that, second set will be block start to two hurdles and set, third set will be block start to three hurdles. So next for strength parts is three step drills, three times, five times. And for endurance, we do hurdle plyometrics, three to five exercise with 95% intensity and one minute recovery. So flexibility also hurdles mobility. Uh-huh. So for maintenance speed, block start to seven to eight hurdles, mm-hmm. two set with three times uh, 80% intensity with four minute recovery. For strength, we do circuit training, five to six exercise, 95% intensity with 60 seconds between set for the recovery. And for endurance part, 10 uh 100 meter hurdles repeat two times and 80 percent intensity i think this one is full recovery mm, okay okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah what happened <laughs> <sighs> okay okay never mind carol no worries i don't know your guys are trying it out um First thing first, uh, we want to uh, share uh, when we talk about intensity, when the intensity is high, the recovery has also to be more because remember, the effort is a lot. So you need to give sufficient recovery. When the intensity is low, yes, I can reduce my recovery. So uh, I just want to put that thoughts into your uh, um, focus. Um, so again, uh, when you want to um, prepare uh, the different phases, Okay, drive, usually we won't be going up to 10 hurdles. Most of the time, maximum one or two, max. Nothing more than that. So again, uh, when we say drive means it's the initial start. The moment the uh, gun goes, the athlete uh, drives to the first hurdle. Most of the time, it's the first hurdle, nothing more than that. Acceleration will start from uh, second, uh, first hurdle all the way, probably even up to hurdle number four. Okay, um, brother Akavit, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, <laughs> and then high transition will be moving from uh, hurdle five onwards, um, as uh, late as probably uh, hurdle six, uh, I mean hurdle seven, hurdle eight, and then the last two hurdles is where they are trying, still trying to hold on to the speed as long as possible, and then um, you will have a reacceleration that will come back after the last part. Okay, so that's how you want to uh, break your hurdle uh, numbers, okay? So the first one, uh, if you are in already in there with you, so it's good, uh, what you can need to do is you change your 10 hurdles to one hurdle. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay, intensity, can it be 80, 80% or can it be more? First one, remember you're generating a lot of speed for the start. Can be higher. 
yes, can be higher definitely. So it can go up as high as ninety five percent even. And only one hurdle. Yes, correct. Yeah, only one hurdle. Maybe, maybe only three step. Yeah. <laughs> only one step from, uh, from the starting block. <laughs> okay. So, uh, recovery wise, you can give about uh three minutes, three to four minutes per hurdle. Yep. Okay. And three then, minutes. Yeah, three to four minutes. Uh, okay, depending on ethics, but usually three minutes it will be sufficient. Uh, because it's a very short duration but highly explosive, you can repeat it uh, a, a few times. So usually you can even do uh, set base. You can even do three times, uh, three times, uh, one hurdle, first hurdle. So the exercise should be block start to one hurdle? Yes, you can do that. The first hurdle. Yes. The first hurdle. Yes. So for me, for mm -hmm. me, Vira. Yeah, brother. If we do from starting block to the first hurdle, it's not only drive, it's also acceleration. Very important, very important uh, moment to do the very important acceleration phase. Because yep. to get into the first hurdle, if you cannot accelerate, it's very difficult to pass the first hurdle. Mm. And then you have to start acceleration after first hurdle, second hurdle, fourth hurdle, it's very difficult. So how's, how uh, the, the important thing is after starting block, you have to start acceleration and get into as high as, as you can to accelerate to the first sudden. This is so very important. The body yeah. posture will change. So yeah. if you take uh, from a normal sprint perspective, the body posture yeah. will stay close to 10 uh, yes. to 12 steps. Yeah. But in in uh, in um for hurdle high hurdles, after yeah. three steps you have to change your body position. Yes, so yes, correct. You take seven steps, three yep. steps focus on drive. The remaining three is actually preparing for her acceleration. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that will be your guiding factor to help you all uh, understand. We mentioned these exercises. And and also here, Vera, mm -hmm. in the acceleration speed, speed it should not train with the resistance mm. yeah can she swap here to there uh, okay. bring it to the forward resistant uh, will be at the strength phase eh? resistant mm -hmm. run correct so you change that yeah so you can remove the entire acceleration uh, resistant run yes correct and you yeah and then the first one you can remove the the entire thing yes correct okay that's perfect and for speed, maybe you put uh, three to five hurdles. Acceleration. Yep. Mm -hmm. For acceleration phase. Yes. And then you can give a very similar three times, uh, three to five hurdle runs, close to 95%. Uh, yeah. Good. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, again, if we were to move to the next one, next uh, sex sector in terms of uh, speed, uh, definitely because it's already already moving into. So you can do what I call a running, uh, into, uh, five to eight hurdles. So you can even do what we call uh, more like a running action, running action, and then you try to go through five to uh, eight hurdles. Again, 95%. Uh, I have a question here. Hmm. So for high velocity transition, if 95% intensity, uh, would it be too tired or uh, in in your actual preparation, because remember we are preparing for a race. Uh, when you yeah. are doing you are doing all these activities we mentioned, we are actually breaking them down into smaller, uh, what I call phases, and we are preparing them. So when they're doing it, they are not doing it everything on one day. They are doing. I say today, if your focus is going to be preparing for dry phase, 
then this uh, exercise routine that you're going to use. Um, maybe on Wednesday, you want to train for high velocity transition, then this is your exercise routine. So theoretically, they should be, be uh, um, ready to do that. So you're not doing it uh, on what we call on uh, on on every, all these exercises will not be done in one training. It will oh, be done okay. on different days, different focus. Oh, okay. If that helps you. Okay, so what you need to have the exercise catalog. This is what you're creating the catalog. So that you know that for a day of preparing a high velocity transition training, this is the catalog you look for and you know that these are the exercises uh, you want to use. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, again, um, yeah, the last one, um, block starts, uh, that will be probably will be very, uh, uh, I'll call it um, final preparation and stream. So it's, it's still okay. Block start to seven to eight hurdles. The one I think you're adding the entire series. So you're going to come into maintenance, you want to see how well they're going. Or you can also do what we call um, a series of eight to 10 hurdles. You can put it up and then you let it keep. Uh, run through them. May I have may I have suggestion? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we can use until twelve hurdle. Mm, exactly. Oh, uh, without the block start. Ah, uh, you without the block start. start. Yes. Yeah, from the block start, but you you a little bit shorten the distance between the hurdles. Mm. Normally, for male, for male maybe nine nine point one four. You use only eight eighty, but you do twelve. 12 hurdles, but you short you short the, the distance between the hurdles. Yes, good. And more than 80%. Oh, 80%. More than 90%. Yes. And maybe you give more, rec more recovery. Gita sir, Ikawas sir, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, in the hurdles endurance part, okay, 10 hurdles or 12 hurdles, okay. In the which phase we have to train the athlete, in the general, specific or competition phase? Specific phase. Specific version phase. Yeah, okay. and, and already Why, sir? competition phase. Uh, again, remember uh, in general phase, you are now pre pretty much preparing the technical abilities. When you go into yes. the specific phase, you want that yeah, uh, yeah. technique to get a little bit more uh, skill uh, uh, refinement and skill uh, maintenance. So that's where all this conditioning work is supporting that preparation. So again, uh, all this exercise you're doing, catalogs, is to create what I call skill refinement and skill maintenance. And skill, then you want it to perform at the highest possible level. Uh, skill at fast, good, very good, very good skill at fast under fatigue. Mm. Because they have to run over 12 hurdles. This is from Vira, first day, coordination. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember performing the skill well at speed yeah. uh, under fatigue. So this is what we were trying to create. Yes, so correct. if you okay. use that as a template, that's why we're always moving into a specific uh, component of our training. Okay, thank you. Okay, no worries. Okay, um, let's move to the strength part. Uh, jumping over hurdles, uh, reactive strength. Uh, um, uh, you're looking at about three hurdles. You can put three hurdles if you want. I'll be comfortable because it's all about very short, quick contacts. Okay, again, <laughs> effort will be confirmed. Uh, definitely will be more than 80%, uh, close to 90 and 100%. Because it's an uh, explosive movement. Uh, rest definitely will follow suit um, about three, three minutes. Okay, we swim run is okay. Uh, three step drills, three step drills. Um, again, um, 
here uh, I don't I don't think you need that three step bro. It, it could be because it will be part of the speed uh, aspect already. So you can remove that if you want. Okay, and then I think the circuit training could come under the endurance aspect of it uh, below. So the hundred uh, uh, hurdles. Uh, yes, set, Yeah, you can you can do that. So you can remove the earlier part. For me, for hurdles, I, I would like to add some. Uh, strength training idea. Mm -hmm. uh, could you please to use uh, more elastic band mm -hmm. for the trail leg, for the lead leg? You can use both. For high velocity transition? Um, what you can do is that uh, I will, um, you can add these exercises, uh, what uh, Mr. Akkawit has shared. We can bring it uh, tomorrow where we break the exercise down. You can bring into the specific uh, what I call uh, exercise uh, preparation. Uh, you will bring that in. So no worries. Keep that in mind. Keep it down. Uh, and later tomorrow, uh, you can know how we can marry these exercises together. Okay. Because because it's high velocity transition, mm -hmm. you have to train uh, power endurance to the muscles. It's the power endurance. Mm. So you can put it as uh, power endurance. Yeah, power endurance. But, uh, In your plyometric endurance, uh, uh, you can indicate... Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. What are you doing is okay. It's yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah? That's, yes, right. okay, that's good. So you don't need to remove that. Uh, okay. Uh, Endurance, I think, the um, again, like similar to sprints, you can remove acceleration endurance. There is no need endurance by acceleration. So you can keep what we call um, the circuit itself. Oh, remove which one? Uh, the 10 time, 10 to 40 meter run. See, oh. you can remove that. Okay, and then uh, for plyometrics, uh, you can do, uh, when you say three to four exercises, spins, right? so you're talking about three to four hurdles or what, what are you all trying to say there? Uh, three to five types of uh, hurdles, plyometrics, exercise. Uh, okay, so that could come under uh, maintenance. If you have uh, density of exercises, then we move away. Because remember, when you're talking about high velocity training, we want oh. to have quality touchdown times. So yeah, you yeah. can even have uh, what I call, you can take away, uh, let's say you can do hurdle uh, jumps, uh, or let's say three to five hurdle jumps. Uh, coming off that hurdle jump, you can transit into a, what I call quick uh, mini hurdle runovers. So you can also do that. Yes, correct. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Very good idea. Mini hurdles. Yeah. So that way you can maintain, again, remember, we are looking at all the contact time uh, of the foot touching the ground in that phases as our indicators. Okay, nice. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, just um, uh, refine it uh, when you uh, uh, later on so that you can have something like this as a catalog that we can use for tomorrow our activity. Okay, so this is basically already creating a, a catalog for your hurdles. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Good job. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay, no problem. Okay, Ken, uh, maybe you can stop sharing and then maybe we go into group three. I hope uh, the discussion so far um, giving you all some idea of how to create this uh, catalogs uh, that we're talking about, exercise catalogs that you can use for 
uh, different um, event, different uh, phases. Uh, so this is what we want to uh, help you guys to uh, understand as well. Okay, group three, anybody from group three? Uh, yes. Yes. Can okay. I share my screen? Yes, please go ahead. Can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay, great. Okay, uh, myself and Ishita ma'am and uh, Lee and Sadram, we have made a collective this uh, you know, um, specific conditioning. And for all the motor abilities, we have given one one exercises for each phase for preparation, momentum building, delivery, and recovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. For preparation phase, in the flexibility, we have given trunk twist with the barbell because uh, when you are uh, going for a preparation phase for the uh, back swing in the initial phase in discus throw, it gives you good uh, stable and uh, you know good stability, good flexibility, so that you can hold the discus far behind. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that, we have given um, you know three sets and uh, with the rod. And maybe the five times both side twist, low intensity. So that's why we have given one and two minute of recovery. Mm -hmm. And for the momentum building, uh, it's all about uh, how you know quickly you can move into the circle. So it's a speed acceleration for us. Mm -hmm. So for that, we have given one exercise. It's called one step and uh, then turn with the medicine ball. Mm -hmm. The athlete will, you know, hold the medicine ball in the hand far behind mm -hmm. so that it gives, you know, more torque and it gives you a feeling, you know, to hold the discus. Okay. And it will help you to push through the circle into the center. It's more related to, uh, with the momentum building. That's why we have chosen this exercise. Mm -hmm. And for that, we are giving, you know, uh, five sets with the five uh, repetitions. And it should be, it, it's actually a quick movement because... Uh, you want to enter into a circle very quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, with the high intensity and we are giving a good recovery, three to five minutes. Okay. And uh, for the delivery phase, uh, we have two parts. It uh, you know involves uh, strength also uh, and some endurance. So for strength part, we have given medicine ball, you know, toss, side toss to the wall. Mm -hmm. Because it gives you a good um, feeling of uh, holding the medicine ball. You can move your hip and uh, you can generate greater torque. Mm -hmm. And it gives you an uh, actual feeling of, you know, uh, similar to delivery phase. Okay? okay. For that, we have given five sets uh, and with, the, with five throws. Mm -hmm. And uh, the recovery will be in between three minutes, three to five minutes. Okay. And it will be a very quick movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the delivery phase, uh, because uh, we want to have a, you know uh, endurance also, so that the athlete can execute the right technique multiple times. Mm -hmm. So we have given standing throws with the deflated ball. Maybe you can carry a well volleyball or hand uh, you know uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. It gives you feeling to carry something, and uh, you can execute the right movement. Yeah. And for that, we are giving three to four sets, 15 throws, mm -hmm. and uh, the intensity is medium and recovery is three to five because we are giving number of throws, you know, so that's why. Mm -hmm. And uh, for recovery, because after delivery, the recovery is like you are trying to control your follow through. You okay. need a good balance, good stability. Mm -hmm. So again, we are, you know, focusing on the flexibility because um uh, with the bossu ball single leg balancing because when you do reverse after the reverse once the implement is released from your hand you need to balance your body so that you, you, can, you don't do fouls okay mm. so we have given balancing exercise on bossu ball with the each leg we will do it for 15 seconds four sets mm -hmm. the intensity is low and the recovery is very uh, uh, minimal one to two minutes mm -hmm. so this is what we have done okay Okay, um, I think um, the thought process is quite nice in terms of how you kind of um, linking some of these different biomotor abilities that you are utilizing it, uh, one from preparation to momentum building, delivery, and of course to recovery. 
So you can see a nice uh, transition to the different uh, level where it will be a carry through effect, what do I call in terms of uh, getting the range and then building up the speed and then moving into the thing. Uh, suggestions again um, will be for the speed element. You mentioned uh, step. Uh, would you have you guys ever uh, uh, experienced on your own where you use a, a, a very light or mini uh, race platform where you step on the platform and then you create a step and then you turn? Would you have you all done something like that to create a velocity change? Ah, yes, yes, we new? have done. Ah, okay. Yes, we we always do this exercises. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the during training, we do this because uh, athlete is doing you know the holding medicine ball or some iron ball, something in the hand, mm -hmm. and uh, when you know the uh, leave the implement behind mm -hmm. and create a torque, then they step with the right foot, the swipe foot, and then take a left quick push. It gives you a good feeling of uh, uh, you know to go into the power position. Mm. It gives you good feeling. Okay. okay. Um, again, um, you all use uh, uh, quite a fair bit of medicine ball, but medicine ball will be, uh, is it with the closer to chest part or will it be held in the hands? Uh, how is this? That can, that depends. Uh, that can be hold behind with a single hand also. Mm. That depends the coach mm. that, uh, what is the time? Yeah. yeah, so um, that's good. Uh, again, like I said, uh, alternatives to medicine ball, uh, I believe you all have uh, what I call weighted implements as well, like a rod in order to give sure. the long lever. Okay, so I think the idea is very much uh, very similar in terms of how we're creating resistance into the movement. So the way you create the tension. Okay, so I think, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite okay with this, um, especially how you all have uh, formulated uh, your catalog for your program. Uh, targeting the different uh, abilities. So again, it also gives you um, when you're having a high speed focus, how will you bring this exercise into the routine? And then as you transit, uh, how would you uh, uh, use as the week goes by focusing on the different uh, aspects? Of it? Okay, um, anything on your side, Brother Kavit, for throw side? Uh, John, you... Anyone from my team? Anyone from my team wants to add something to this, mm -hmm. Mr. Ali, sure. or maybe Mr. Dharamveer or uh, Ishida, ma'am? Do you want to add something? No, uh, no, no, it's okay. No, it's fine. No. Uh, please allow Mr. Ikawi to give uh, some feedback first. Yes. Mr. Ikawi, you're on mute. He's talking, but I'm not sure whether he's looking. Uh, you're on mute, brother. Okay. Yes. In for strength training for the momentum building, can use the elastic band to do the drive phase. After turn and then drive into into in into the middle of the circle. That can use the elastic band. Yes, we can uh, definitely yep. we can add. Correct. Yes. Thank you for the suggestion. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, rest of the members, anything else you want to add on? Okay, if there's not, then we can uh, move on. Um, thank you, uh, Team 3, uh, close group. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Uh, thank you. you. Can stop sharing. Okay, uh, I believe Team 4, you all have sent me your decks. So let me find your deck. I'll share for you all. Okay, team four. You can see this. Anybody from team four? Team four guys, anybody coming to present? Nobody from team four. Who sent me the or who sent the group chat? KJ Kajan. Is it Kajan?
Hi guys, nobody from Team 4 to present. Okay, I tell you what, I will uh, put on hold for Team 4. Um, Team 5, are you ready to present, guys? Okay. Yeah, sure. So uh, guys. Hello. Yes. Hi, uh, hi. You present? Okay, can okay. Okay, I will share the the, the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Jundi, you will present or me? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this uh from group five. Uh, we choose uh event pole vault. Uh, so for the speed, we do acceleration. Uh, the distance is 35 a bit. Uh, this depends on the approach run. If the athlete, uh, 40 meter, we will do 40 meter. So this uh, approach run about 35 meter. The space, uh, the phase is, uh, more to pre competition. Okay, uh, two set for repetition 35 meter, uh, the intensity, uh, about 85 to 90 percent. Rest between a run is three minute, five minute is between a uh, set. And for the takeoff preparation uh, and the penetration, we do uh, step up with the bar, uh, or the or overhead, or uh, we just push up uh, to overhead. And uh, the set three set for repetition, we do both leg. Okay, uh, the intensity same, uh, the re recovery of four minutes and uh, between set and between uh, exercise uh, depends on athlete. And the next one is a uh, swing inverted, two inverted uh, is a uh, uh, combined long swing, uh, rock back position and eye position. So we do uh, a lot. Uh, in the high bar, uh, more to gymnastic uh, equipment, uh, long swing and swing to inverted, four set to six set, uh, four repetition, uh, uh, recovery depend on, on the athlete and uh, the rest time between set is three minutes. Mm -hmm. And the last one is bar clearance. We do also uh, a lot of uh, gymnastic uh, exercise. So one of the one from the exercise is backward roll handstand. Uh, push up. We focus on the uh, push up. Uh, last push up. And we do the setting uh, bungee. We put just uh, height not to because the position is from uh, lay down. Mm -hmm. So we just put uh like a bungee for the more well, like a bar. So the last one we focus on the push up, and four set six repetition, and the reco recovery is on the athlete and three minutes, and for the strength is resistant acceleration, uh three set four repetition, and forty meter, uh. The intensity is still the same, 85 to 90 percent. Uh, four minutes uh, recovery between exercise and six minutes between set. Mm -hmm. And for the takeoff uh, preparation and penetration, plyo, single leg jump over the hurdles. We do three set and six uh, hurdles and three repetition, both leg also, left and right. Mm -hmm. And the recovery. Five to five, uh, four to five minutes for the set, and for the uh during exercise depend on the athlete. Mm, so the next one is uh for the swing to inverted, uh high bar also. Uh, we do a long swing, uh takeoff position, uh and we put the resistance band on the takeoff leg. Mm -hmm. And uh, the set is three set, two, four set, six repetition. So, uh, sorry, it's not both leg. 
but we do only for one uh take off position take off leg oh, sorry okay okay uh and uh the rest uh recovery is depend on athlete and three minutes and handstand push up for the last one is about clearance uh, we do handstand push up uh explosive mm. so four set for repetition Okay. okay, for endurance, uh, we believe uh, for a specific conditioning and especially in the pre-competition, uh, we not do a lot like before in general preparation. Yeah, so we just put in the blank. Okay. And flexibility, uh, normally uh, we do a lot uh, during a gymnastic uh, exercise. And we have uh we do uh, a lot of uh, flexibility also specific to the event, mm -hmm. and for a push run uh we choose uh hurdle drill mm -hmm. or focus on hip mobility, and three set uh ten hurdles and six exercise, so and uh, take off preparation and penetration, pole bending on the plan. Planting box, just static mm -hmm. position. We just go for the focus on the pole bending. Four set, six repetition. Uh, we hold for four seconds. Okay. And uh, for the swing to inverted, modified leg raise. Uh, normally we do just uh lay down and just up the leg, but uh for the specific we go for leg raise and we. Uh, go into the rock back position and stay eye, uh, eye position. Uh, four set, uh, 10 to 12 reps. And uh, the last one is bar clearance, uh, but pipe stretch. Yeah. Four set, uh, 10 to 12 repetition. But uh, yeah, like I said, flexibility, we do a lot also mm. like uh, gymnastic exercise. So that's it. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Brother Akavit, you want to touch on this? Or mute? This, yeah. this program is very good. With the overall picture, all the exercise is a uh, specific exercise. This is very good example for the specific exercise, especially when you work with the pore water. It's a lot of specific exercise. Yeah? But one thing I want to remind uh, Rosalinda, here yes, at the approach, you might run with the pole. <laughs> yeah, we forgot about that. <laughs> Don't forget you are pole water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's it. Okay. Right. Thank you to all my group also. Yeah, it's good, good. I mean, like I said, um, you can have the overall uh, picture done in different element of it. You have targeted, uh, again, like I said, uh, technical sports like uh, hammer and pole walk requires a lot of uh, specific uh, action done throughout the season as well. So um, you can see that coming out uh, very naturally. Um, again, uh, for endurance, I believe, uh, by doing a, a lot of uh, volume work for the different activities, you are preparing the endurance by itself. So you don't need to do a specific endurance work for it. So that is also how you can, uh, what I call, uh, not need to do a specific uh, related endurance, uh, but because of the volume work you do, creates the endurance work by itself. So that is where you can also look into as a part of uh, your preparations. Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Lucinda, and uh, for Group 5 for the uh, sharing. Okay. Um, you, group 6. Group 6. Okay, Group 6. Uh, yeah. Let me share the sure. slide presentation. Definitely. Okay, uh, this is, uh, first of all, a uh, very good evening to all. Okay, so this is uh, from our group discussion, from MRD group. So let's 
uh, expand the profile of athletes. So mm-hmm. this uh this program will be focused for uh junior development program under 20 years old, event 800 meter, that which is a PB 205, and that landing target is two minutes mm-hmm. by uh, we're getting on this program. So the current BCR level, uh, the fitness uh, BCR level is 4.6, uh, mm-hmm. 60 minute uh, uh test. So overall, uh, in middle uh. In uh, middle, sorry, uh, mid, uh, middle distance. So mm-hmm. all these four component, uh, fitness component is meet requirement for uh, middle uh, distance event. So mm-hmm. which is the speed. So uh, plan of uh, for event specific uh, speed is forty to sixty meter, uh, between three to three times to three set. So maximum speed. So we cover two to three minutes. So when we come to the uh, Close to competition, or we can say the simulation for competition event. So two hundred meter, four times to two sets. So hundred percent from go pace. Mm-hmm. So which is for target is two minutes. So our go pace is thirty second for each two hundred meter. Mm-hmm. Yes. So recovery in between is sixty second to ten minutes. So other than that, uh, for event specific body strength, uh, we have uh do the power exercise mm-hmm. for develop keep cross clean Bulgarian hop, yeah, close to maximum velocity or low, low, low weight. So, mm-hmm. and simulation pace is spin drill. So it's more technical part. Okay, mm-hmm. we're doing the S kick, D kick, high knee, fish kick. Okay, and, uh, around the distance of twenty meter. So maximum frequency. Mm-hmm. Okay, for strength session, so we decide do the circuit session mm-hmm. okay which is uh, we have a uh, six exercise in be- in between exercise is 30 seconds mm-hmm. we set low to medium uh, intensity mm-hmm. and then for close to completion or simulation uh, to specific event uh, we do the hill session uh, around six 600 to 800 meter 90 to 100 percent pass Mm-hmm. Or in if we are doing the two set and then in bit the between in the set we take the full recovery, then the athlete will start again. And then for endurance, uh, or even specific uh strength, uh, we have a extensive interval, one thousand meter repetition. So this pace is best from uh BCR pace, mm-hmm. uh four point six, uh around six to 10 repetition or less can be uh, more right uh to uh, in between recovery is two to three minutes mm-hmm. so close to uh simulation uh event or specific uh we have 400 meter repeat repeat three times or two sets 60 second uh, intensity and rest 45 to 60 second and other than that we have a pyramid session also two three four i'm going going up and then after that going down to 400 300 and 200. Okay. Uh, and this test is uh consistently every 100 meter is 15 seconds mm-hmm. and for flexibility uh we do a uh, harder mobility and mm-hmm. pnf stretching for uh even specific rest preparation Okay, so that's all. Okay, um, good. Thank you, uh, Group Six, uh, for a quite nice detail, uh, for endurance, uh, aspect of it. Um, well, I think uh, in the speed aspect, uh, I think we are um, agreeing to the uh, components you have shared, uh, together with the run as well as the uh, power exercises. So again, it's good to see that you have moved the um, power exercise uh, exercises from strength into speed element, which is very nice to see so that you are still marrying um, the what I call uh, the neuromuscular activities all at uh, uh, base level. Uh, for strength, uh, of course, you have segregated from uh, the endurance, uh, strength endurance aspect of it, which is quite nice to see how you have put them together from circuit preparation into uh, what I call um, demand. 
uh, check with the heel session uh, what kind of gradient we all be looking at for the six to eight hundred meter. What kind of gradient? Uh, is it high gradient or medium or low gradient? Um, we can say the gradient around two to four percent like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So two to four percent. Okay. Um, uh, for extensive uh, endurance, uh, in terms of extensive tempo, I think that's perfect. Um, question on the uh, event specific uh, endurance. Uh, what else will you be using as a mimic to, let's say, for this uh, 800 meter guy, apart from just uh, either the pyramid method or the repetition method? Will there be any other style you will like to be using it yeah. for it's event, event specific? Yeah, okay. any team member from any team member, yeah. Any just to check, yeah. check well, how else will you do your event specific uh, race preparation uh, apart from whatever you have shown here? Yeah, yeah, it'll be a repetition and we'll do repetition a hmm. Okay, uh, one of the other ways I, I can share is uh, when we break the event 800 into smaller chunks. So normally we will do 200 uh, race pace. You take a two minutes break, you run the 400 race pace, and then another uh, uh, break with the last 200. So you're creating the what I call for race pace preparation. You are trying to give a bit of uh, sensing to the athlete. Uh, how would it feel like? In the first 200, how the race, how would it feel like? Then the next 400, how would it feel like? And the last 200, how would it feel like? So again, um, while we're doing this, uh, pyramid climbs and uh, repetitions for pace preparation, uh, when it comes to event-specific uh, race preparation, it's always good to create a race stimulus uh, for athletes to feel. What do they exactly have to feel? So again, uh, how are you breaking the event into smaller chunks and then uh, creating um, what I call the stimulus-related uh, race practice? Okay, is this a suggestion to help you to broaden some of your catalogs for race preparation? Good, huh? Only, only this area. Hmm. Only in this area, he has to do more specific to the event. Yes. The time is okay, but the, the, the total distance is not okay. <laughs> okay, so again, um, try not to move too or much away from the volume. Uh, again, uh, when you're doing a lot of uh, intense space activity, you want to keep the intensity maximum two times, three times of the distance for repetition purposes. So I think that will help you guys, uh, again, for the younger athletes, junior athletes who are coming up uh, to handle the intensity uh, better, uh, especially race-specific uh, preparation. As the athlete gets older, of course, we always look for other form of uh, volume work. Okay, Ken, uh, thank you very much. Group six, I think uh, we are in the right track. Uh, good to see a lot of uh, colorful uh, programs. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe yeah. we can get uh, group number eight to come in. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, anybody from group eight? I'm here. I'm Abraham. Yes, Abraham. Yeah, I'd like to share. Just try and I'll share. No problem. Go ahead, sir. Is it visible? Yes. Oh. Okay, uh, very good afternoon for some of the lecturers. And then my com my group comprises of myself, Mr. Shan, and Mr. Krishnan, Christabel from Philippines, and uh, Eduardo from Philippines, and Tan from Myanmar, six of us there. We have put our ideas inside, and then uh, see how it goes. So no worries, anything, no worries. anything to be rectified, uh, please uh, open-heartedly can rectify characters, no, yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, first of all, we're doing a long distance here. Yeah? Middle and long, we're doing long, more than 10,000 meters and then uh, 10,000 meters and above. I mean, uh, uh, this level is uh, 10,000. So we started off with speed. Okay, this is our exercise, ABC drill, high knee, butt kick, and stride. That's what my group will discuss with the advice of Mr. Krishnan. And then, uh, okay, and this is the volume intensity, straight and straight exercise, three minutes recovery. Okay, uh, and then we move on to the exercise, maximum speed, uh, two times five with 30 meters, and then acceleration, one times 30, uh, uh, 
Okay. Uh, uh, suppose we want times 150 meters. Sorry. And the pyramid runs 140 meters, 50 meters, 60 meters. And then uh, recovery, three minutes, three minutes. We're giving them. Uh -huh. uh, and then, uh, of course, the same part, exercise part. We have also mini hurdle drill, jump, and agility drill. And two times five exercises, I'm giving the break in between uh, two minutes of recovery period for them. Uh -huh. And next, we move on to uh, strength. With strength. Okay, uh, circuit training. These are a few exercises we have uh, we have uh, highlighted here: push up, jack, jack knife, burpee, leg swing, sit up, back, uh, shuttle, st shuttle run, star jump, all that. Weight weight training, the circuit method, twenty five percent to loading, twenty five percent, fifty percent. Okay, that means they do twice of this in in a week. I um, these two, these two because uh, too much we cannot too much put can we put up, cannot put too much load on them. That's what we understood. Okay, and then. Uh, and uh, of course, we are coming up here. That the weight training is something like step up with the dumbbell, squat with barbell, and all arms, arm curl, and mm -hmm. shoulder press. Mm -hmm. And there's a break for every set, three to five minutes. Okay. And talking about uh, exercise, I mean uh, preparation here: heel run, short or middle. Okay, mm -hmm. we think heel run. It's quite short. This depends on the distance we have arranged for them. And then uh, ten times hundred meter, according to the ability, five minute recovery. And then after this, I think I'll hand over to Mr. Krishnan or anybody else to, to contribute to the discussion. Mr. Krishnan, can see, right? I can, can. Okay, thank you, okay, sir. Thank for, you very much. Okay, for endurance, uh, first we will test first our uh, click uh, VCR level. Okay, mm -hmm. because uh, we use the uh, VCR level. Okay, we use uh, four times of uh, training. One is long, slow distance. Okay, intense, uh, they will do 60 to 80 minutes. Uh, their intensity must be 80 85 percent of VCR, uh, VCR mm -hmm. level, and also medium control run MCR will train four to sixty minutes in ninety percent of VCR level, and fast control run thirty to forty minutes in ninety percent of VCR level. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this one all uh, one more regenerate run we always after uh, after training and before mm -hmm. training, uh, seventy percent we run to uh, fifteen to uh, 20 minutes, uh, uh, warm up 10 minutes, at least warm down 15 minutes. Okay, this one also we use it 70% uh, of VCR level. Okay, this one all uh, mileage. Okay, we target mileage for uh, this time is L, uh, for national level uh, at least 100 kilometer uh, mm -hmm. from the mileage. Okay, then uh, with uh, two sections. Uh, okay, one more is uh, in preparation period we use to interval, eccentric interval, and, and incentric interval. In eccentric interval, we use VCR pace, 105% of VCR uh, individual athlete VCR pace. Huh? Okay, we give uh, 10, 10 times 1 kilometer, 5 times 2 kilometer, 3 times 5, 3 kilometer, and 1 uh, plus 1.1 1 .1 kilometer. Okay, mm -hmm. we give uh, rest two to five minutes at least uh, uh, because in centric interval, our rest will be less, la, uh, less mm -hmm. than uh, three minutes. Okay, for eccentric interval, our uh, rest will be different. We give 20, 20 to 25 times 400 meter and mm -hmm. 10, 10 times one kilometer. Okay, recovery, we always hear more uh, three minutes because in eccentric, we less. Yeah, ex uh, eccentric less eccentric more because eccentric we produce gold gold piece. Ah, huh? uh, eccentric we use gold piece. Uh, mm -hmm. Athletic gold piece for competition. Okay, mm -hmm. and eccentric level we use VCR uh, uh, pace uh, level. Okay, for okay the uh, last one is a uh, uh, flexibility. Others mm -hmm. can share flexibility. Okay, that means okay. We use uh, stretching same uh, both level. Okay, PNF stretching, partner stretching, dynamic stretching. Okay, mm -hmm. on the uh, two phase also we use same PNF uh, partner stretching and dynamic stretching. In endurance, our main aim is endurance because uh, they go for ten kilometer competition and maybe walking ten and twenty kilometer. Uh, mm -hmm. Now in Sukma, our our Malaysia, the Sukma level is uh, walking is 20 kilometer already. Mm -hmm. Okay, for uh, this one is uh, for walking. Uh, Mr. Shan can share your drill uh, anything, Mr. Shan? Mr. Shan there? 
Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, okay. Mr. Krishna. Thank you, Mr. Abraham. Thank you. I uh, will call them the judges. Okay. Uh, what is uh, Mr. Krishna has presented uh, in 10 kilometers race and to the walk, we have similar to the same kind of training, but only thing on the strength uh, exercise. Uh, in uh, walking, we have, we have to do different kind, kind of drills, especially. Uh, we use about 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters of many kinds of drills. You see, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, quite a number of uh, exercise kind of drills we have to do for the athletes, like mm -hmm. uh, going on hill, uh, high knee, low knee, and many num uh, numbers of uh, drill exercise we have to do mm. to build up their, uh, their strength. Mm -hmm. Other than that, everything should be similar to long distance. Circuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have circuit all like 10 kilometers. Mm. Okay. Basically, even in a race walk, we try to cover the mileage and distance endurance for them. The mm. mileage is pretty important for them because they are one is, of course, the competition and of course, and also the next thing is for their timing, where they go. So the mileage is not there for them, then it's quite difficult for them to, they've been struggling at the end of the day. Mm. And besides that, like what Mr. Shan said, the, the walking drills, the drills are very important. In fact, we really stress on the drills from right to the head, to the toe, where mm. including hip rotation, the movement of the legs and everything. Mm. And when you realize even the international level, uh, most of our walkers are being disqualified because just, just a little bit of floating, you know, not knee bend, mostly floating is very technical. This event is very technical event. Yeah, of course, all of us know that. It's very difficult, easy. It's not easy to train also, and also the technical side is very, very, very technical. Like Olympics, we see the, how they catch the spillers and give them a pit stop, and then after that, disqualify them right to the very, well, almost reaching the end, finishing line, they'll be disqualified. So, other than that, for the endurance part, almost the same, like long distance, we have put it this way. Anyway, we are open for correction, and uh, any uh, Just now, okay, okay, so heel, uh, just now, okay, oh, take back for uh, long distance. Okay, heel, uh, just now, we already left up, we only give the short, uh, uh, short hill, but mm -hmm. we also got middle hill. We give uh, 600 to 800 meter. One more long hill. Uh, we give uh, for my athlete, I give at least uh, seven kilometer hill, but two weeks mm -hmm. one only. Okay, two mm -hmm. weeks one. Mm -hmm. And one more in the uh, strength, we left out the medicine ball, medicine ball throw. Okay, okay, we left that. Okay, we are uh, extra. We put a uh, medicine ball also. Yeah, right? sure, no worries. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, groups, group eight. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Um, okay. Um, first thing, uh, I think uh, you have put a very nice, uh, comprehensive um uh, routines for the sun runners. We're good to see a lot of uh, uh, what I call other biomotor abilities. Uh, pretty much occupying um the. The uh, program, uh, which is quite nice to see. Um, I, again, um, just word of caution. Uh, I think we have moved away from butt kick. No more butt kick in our uh, teaching materials anymore. So we have moved into take away the very typical butt kick action. Uh, so it's pretty much uh, knee lift and probably even uh, what I call frequency activities to help uh, movement mechanics uh, to be more efficient. Uh, whether for this is for runners, uh, not for walkers. Okay. Um, again, uh, for speed-wise, um, very nice to see you all have done a few uh, elements, uh, like what uh, Mr. Akavit have shared earlier. We can also consider including uh, progressive uh, speed runs for distant guys. Again, uh, it's in, in relation to um, how their race can turn out in terms of when they want to do a, a final uh, spurt for the finish. They won't just uh, sprint immediately, but some of them have a tactical need where they could do what I call a progressively increasing the speed uh, over a, a short distance. So again, you can teach uh, that as part of a uh, speed element of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then uh, when you go to endurance, uh, maybe you can slide up a little bit. Um, okay, endurance, uh, if you can remember um, the, the concept we have was uh, to do um thirty percent on fast continuous runs and uh, extensive tempo works, and then we have sixty percent of it will be done predominantly on the endurance development and ten percent on regeneration. 
So here, because we are moving into what do we call uh, um, fast activities, um, what you can do is um, you can move uh, your fast continuous run uh, part of it into the event uh, race specifics. So again, uh, it could be very much related to race specific uh, activities. Um, again, no, sir, um, yes. let's share uh, our record is uh, the record uh, for junior level 31, for qualified for C game is 31. Mm -hmm. And always our uh, athlete do 34, 35, uh, 34, 35. Because mm -hmm. of that, we put 30 to 40 minutes. Because no, no, I, I'm not talking about the, the, the duration. I'm talking about the activity. So mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. When I say fast continuous run, I'm looking from the activity perspective, not mm -hmm. from the duration perspective. Okay. So again, um, you can reduce the time if you need uh -huh. to. Uh, and But if you want to do um, race preparation, that fast continuous run can be more uh, race specific as okay, well. Okay, thank you, so okay. you can you can bring it over to race specific okay. preparation. Um, uh, again, um, in terms of uh, what we can also want to see in distant races, um, we want to see uh, tactical preparations. Uh, mm -hmm. Are we using fat legs? Because mm -hmm. in ten thousand, we know that the race will not be a monotonous pace. It will be a variation of different tempo runs. Are we providing that uh, event specific? preparation for our athletes. So again, um, apart from uh, in, in, um, extensive interval and intensive interval we do, can you bring in a little bit more what I call a tempo-based activities for event-specific preparation, where you bring fat leg as part of the race preparation. So again, when we say race preparation, what could be probably could be happening in the race? Uh, we have seen that many times where the pace can uh, suddenly change in the middle of the race and then it slows down and then it picks up again. So are we preparing the athletes in that area as well? So again, just to give a little bit more suggestion of the uh, endurance aspect. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank, no you. thank you, sir. No, thank you. Uh, no problem. Okay, I think uh, in, in other than that, uh, it's an essence, uh, I think uh, it is quite um, structured. Uh, again, uh, good to have your catalog. And you all have mentioned about uh, the total volume. So at that part, we leave it to you guys uh, how you are using um, these elements to prepare the different volume of activities you all have with you. Okay. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, one more question, sir. Yes, how sir. about our walking? Uh, I, mean... I think walking for walking are uh, almost a very similar concept. So we will not move too far, too much far away from it. Again, okay. um, if you are having that, uh, it's more uh, specific driven uh, for walks as well. Uh, you guys will know, uh, have you have enough uh, specific, um, what I call, um, component in for race related in race preparation. Uh, again, what are the tactics that would be for? Drills, so, especially drills. Uh, uh, drills is one thing, it's okay, but uh, in, in race preparation, we're looking for the tactics that could be employed. Because again, uh, don't forget in um, long distance or middle distance running, it is an open skill. We mentioned that. It's not a close skill like uh, throws, jumps, uh, and probably even uh, sprints. Uh, here is open skill. How are we incorporating the tactical element of uh, competing into your training as well? So that is also important to prepare the athlete psychologically. So again, your race preparations should have that component uh, as part of it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very no much. No problem. Pleasure is mine. Okay, um, good. Thank you uh, for group eight for the sharing. Okay, uh, maybe I do one more call out for group A, uh, group four. Anybody from group four around? Group four, anybody from group four, guys? You're uh, waiting for your presentations. Okay, Mr. Fira, maybe I, I can. You can presentation. share. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. okay, good. But Let me I don't know. have the. I'll do the presentation for you. Okay, no thank you very much. No problem. Here we go. Okay, I'll try to explain. Okay. Maybe you can a little bit zoom, Mr. Fira. I cannot sure. see the... <laughs> ah, moment. Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, let me go to PowerPoint position. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, first we talk about speed mm -hmm. in the approach. Uh, okay, maybe uh, can I just yeah. disturb? You're talking about horizontal jumps, huh? Yes. We, okay, uh, long jump. Long, long jump. jump. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Long Ten. jump. Got it. Okay. And the speed 
in the approach exercise, we do 20 until 40 meters, mm -hmm. three sets, uh, two repetition. Mm. And we just do it in 85%, mm -hmm. rest three until five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then in the take of preparation, we do seven step short approach with mini harder in the in the end of the approach. Mm -hmm. Okay. The and the follower is to set five repetition, 90%, rest four until five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for the flight, we do maximum height jump. Mm -hmm. mm. And the volume is four set for repetition in 90 seconds. Okay. Yes. Okay. For landing preparation, we do double leg jump off from the box or maybe uh, in the sand pit. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do it three set, mm -hmm. uh, five repetition, rest uh, between five and seven minutes. Okay. That's, that's for the speed. Mm -hmm. And then we go to strength. Mm -hmm. For approach, we doing post slip, split squat. Post split squat. Mm -hmm. We do it reset. Two repetition. Uh, just fifty and until sixty percent. Uh, it's not intensity, but the. Loading. Loading, yes. Mm -hmm. load. okay. okay. And we have six minute rest. Mm -hmm. In the take off preparation, we have step up jump with mm -hmm. weight. We do okay. it two set and mm -hmm. five until six repetition. We rest mm -hmm. three until five minutes. Okay. For flight, we do deep jump. Mm -hmm. Four set. Uh, in the set we doing is there is no repetition huh? mm, okay. we do <laughs> we do four four repetition okay. and four set and then uh -huh. take a rest for 90 sure. seconds mm -hmm. in the landing preparation we doing single leg box jumps mm -hmm. to set six repetition five minute mm. rest okay okay in the endurance mm. on the approach we're doing 60 meter run, mm -hmm. six repetition, and mm. we'll back, a uh, walking back, just mm -hmm. walking back for reco re recovery for okay. the rest. And then take off preparation, we're doing 100 meters, seven repetition, and uh, rest 30 seconds until one minute. Mm. So just stay in the finish and then go back and then mm. go back again. Okay. On the fact we we doing hanging on the bar, mm. we do ten repetition, three set, mm -hmm. and then in the landing, twenty meter continue jump with landing on the pit. Okay. Okay. Three set, five repetition, mm. and then for flexibility we doing calf stretch against wall, mm -hmm. and take off we doing kneeling hip. Flexor mm -hmm. and stretch, mm -hmm. and the flag will back stretch, mm -hmm. and in the landing preparation we sit, seated and hamstring and stretch. Okay. That's all. Okay, Ken. Thank you, Mr. Fira. No problem. Thank you very much okay. for your presentation. Um, uh, okay, again, um, uh, we we'll go layer by layer, so at least we can uh, have the um. Uh, understanding together. So I think the speed part, uh, 20 to 40 meters, I think will be very much uh, from, you take it from um, medium to long run up Longest. as well. Uh, so long run. Right? So the, but the intensity, 85% uh, or could it be better? Um, I think it should be in 90. Yes, at least 95. 95. Yes. Even, you know, if you want to talk about approach, remember we talk about uh, speed of speed takeoff and important. Yes. In our, uh, so you want to bring the intensity as close to maximum. It would not be maximum speed, but optimal speed, which means you're talking about close to 98%. So okay. that's where the speed part. So uh, when you're practicing it, um, yeah. also we need to bring that element of it. 
Uh, one mm-hmm. of the methods you can do is what we call progressively building up the speed or probably uh, build up the speed whole and then for the continuation. So again, you can style, uh, you can try different uh, approach styles for your athlete, mm-hmm. but all going towards 90 and 95% and 95%. Above. Okay. 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 Uh, in terms of uh, rest uh, and repetitions are still uh, within the requirements. Okay, then we move to uh, takeoff uh, preparation. Uh, seven steps usually is from a very short approach takeoff. Uh, so again, when we're coming into specific, we want to move into middle approach to uh, regularly and even uh, longer approach, even coming closer to competition. So we want to look for more for uh, middle approach. So is the seventh step will be considered uh, middle or as you return, it's just short. Short. Okay, so you can move up to middle Bad. approach already. Oh, I- Ah, middle approach because now again, uh, for short approach we are doing a lot of uh, what I call strength based takeoffs. Uh, right. for middle will be where we are moving uh transiting into right. a little bit more speed to the takeoff. Okay. Uh, so again, that's where your uh, need has to be important. Uh, again, intensity of takeoff uh, will be uh, closer to 90-95%. percent. Ninety ninety. Okay. Uh, I like the idea that you're using mini hurdles, which means my think is that you're using that as part of the steps to maintain the rhythm yeah. for the takeoff. Okay, so which is quite good. So you space out, but again, you're giving the athlete enough uh, runway into the approach, uh, from the approach into the takeoff. Okay. okay? Um, for the flight, uh, when you say maximum height jumps, uh, is it standing and jumping or how is it done? Um... Just want to get a clarification. <laughs> Mister... Or any of your good members. Good members. Any group members to help her? Don't let us yeah. suffer on our own. Mr. Who suggested this exercise? From Malaysia. I don't know what the name Okay. Mr. Okay. Um, Kajun. Kajun. Kajun? <laughs> okay. So maximum height exercise uh, jumps. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, when we're doing for our flight preparations, we normally use what I call a race platform. So that to create... Uh, a bit of a height of takeoff so to give the air time for the athlete to perform. So it could be from the springboard that we have springboard. for the gymnastics okay. or even a race platform. Not so high, probably uh, 10 uh, to 15 cm high board that you can okay. use for takeoff to create um, what I call um, the flight movements. So we do that as part of that. So uh, I'm not sure whether that maximum height here you're talking is similar to that. So again, because of uh, the uh, requirements, uh, you will probably will look at uh, coming from a medium, a short to medium approach uh, mm-hmm. into the takeoff board. So mm-hmm. that is where you can combine uh, for flight. Okay, yeah. for landing, I think double leg uh, jump off from a box into a sandpit, uh, mimicking your uh, limb coordinations uh, also can. Or also from using from uh, flight to landing combinations, you can also do that. Landing. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, Mr. Ferrer. Okay. Uh, for strength, um, okay, again, these are pulse squat uh, actions are done in, uh, let's say, in a gym room. But when yeah. we come to the uh, approach uh, or the approach uh, runway, uh, we want to bring a little bit more uh, specificity. So uh, what could be, be more specific here in terms of uh, for approach? How can you use uh, strength activity here? Hello. What do you think? Hello? Oh, Any uh, idea from group four? What can we do? Uh, if you were to have listened to uh, uh, group one presentation, they did share something there that you can use. Anybody from group four want to try? What else can I do as a strength activity for approach? Uh, specifics to approach. Biometric. Uh, plyometric, yes, you can do plyometric activities. Uh, and can I combine it with uh, sledge or resistant and assistant runs? Can I use them? Can. Uh, so, okay, now, so you can use plyometrics combining with resistant and assistant runs to allow the development of what we call the speed strength element of it. Okay, uh, okay. brother, I have it. You want to add anything? 
Yeah, this okay. This okay, Vera. Hmm. It's okay. It's good. It's good to use if you want to improve the speed of the approach. Maybe you can use the sled with the pounding. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So again, uh, the weighted jumps, uh, okay, is very uh important like you mentioned. So uh, again, step off weighted jump again from uh, race platform to create uh the continuity uh, uh, of that action as well. Uh, another one that we will normally use uh, for speed strength element, we will put two bots, uh, which means the um, penultimate step is without any bot. So high step on the bot, penultimate high, step. low, high. Exactly. So you have the okay. very small bots that we use. So that creates the takeoff preparation speed. So you can use that. And you can play with Barbell step up? Uh, barbell step up are uh, good but it is from a very, uh, what I call, standalone exercise. But this exercise is more applied into the, uh, what I call, uh, actual application. So this is where you're creating the movements. Uh, so you can look into that. So one is weighted jump. Another one is to, to make it even more quicker. You can consider these uh, activities. Uh, again, you, density, uh, try to look for more higher version. Uh, uh, strength, flight-wise, usually there's no strength in flight. Okay, probably more for conditioning part that you can do it in, in the uh, gym. But in actual application, uh, that jumps are more uh, in relation to what I call uh, approach and takeoff. We can do them, not, not in the flat phase. Not, so you oh. can remove them. Okay. okay, remove to for approach. Yeah, for approach, there's no uh, depth jump for strength. We will not okay. do that. Okay. A single box, single leg box jumps. Uh, Again, uh, this is still a conditioning work, single leg box jump. Uh, how will that uh, apply your strength for landing? So again, if it's not required, you can remove them. So I don't think uh, single leg box jump uh, has a uh, specific uh, application to landing. Okay. Uh, endurance, uh, again, very similar to all. You can, there's no, uh, for different parts, you can go across, uh, again, you can be using uh, a few uh, repetition runs. Uh, again, uh, probably you can do what we call uh, um, general conditioning work just to keep the body for recovery uh, so that you can do the next action uh, better. So again, your, con your endurance can be a very generic uh, activity uh, or you can also do what they call a replacement to um, general uh, strength like a circuit training. So you can also use that to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have two points. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. For flight, flight phase, for the strength training for flight phase, it's normally it's very difficult. On the flight phase, you need balance to maintain the center of gravity, to, to maintain the height of the center of gravity. Yeah. Deep jump is doesn't help. Because depth jump, you have to create force from the ground, and then to maintain the the flight, the flight, the 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 CG flight, center of gravity flight, you have to train more in core body. Core body. Yes, correct. Core exercises. In, and on endu Sir, I can wait. Yes, Binda. The Hello. bar is the hands is hanging on the bar hands, but the feet is. Like uh, yeah, but this is endurance. This is strength. It's different. I talk about the strength. Okay. 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 And then, so and then, be in on, the strength. Then, then we do the uh, landing preparation first. Uh, ten meter continue jump is very difficult. How 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 can? Your jump is two time already ten meters. Uh, and yeah, this could be done as what I call uh, general exercises for, yeah. uh, just to create um, yeah. body awareness. When it comes to specifics, we don't do this kind of exercise. So as, remember, always uh, keep in mind, is this exercise uh, closely uh, mimics or imitates my actual exercise? Then uh -huh. where do I find the uh, conditioning for that? If it doesn't, then I, it cannot fall into specific conditioning anymore. It goes into another category, which we'll discuss tomorrow. Huh? Okay, so again, uh, very important to identify when you do specific conditioning is all about event-based preparation. Very much event 
relation. So you need to look at that. If it's not required, don't be afraid to take it out. Don't just say, oh, just because we put it there, you must write something. Uh, that's where we will make mistakes. Uh, so again, it is just to give as a template. If it's required, I do. If not required, I don't need to put anything inside there. Then that's it. So at least your catalog looks uh, what I call um, very clean. You know exactly what you want to do. So that's the whole purpose of this uh, exercise today. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Fera. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I think for the stretchings, I think you have pretty much uh, targeted some of the key muscles uh, that you look for. Uh, so that is okay. So again, like I said, how are you doing it? So no need to be uh, specific for uh, the phases, but at least it could be a general one that covers throughout uh, for yourself. Okay. 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 Good. Nice. A uh, very nice. Uh, Thank you. Uh, what I call development, uh, which is good to see. You missed it, Peter. Missed it, actually. No problem. No. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I think uh, we all seems to be getting in the right direction. Uh, we like uh what you have uh, prepared uh for yourself and for your groups. Um. Hopefully, uh, you can use uh some of these things that we have shared today to help you to. Uh, build up uh, as your own what I call uh, exercise catalogs. So again, um, it'll be good to create something. Uh, and tomorrow, probably when we share a little bit more on the uh, organization of exercises, we give you a little bit more broader ideas. So that way, you can fine tune uh, where to put some of these exercises that you've been hearing uh, from Mr. Echovit, uh, myself, and probably some of the exercises you guys also have prepared. Okay. Um, so could, anything else to add on for the second day? Uh, for the second day, after I have seen some uh, specific exercise for event group, it's, it's quite nice. I have seen from uh, from the group, it's a lot of athletes in our group. I, I feel so happy, you know, because the egg athlete they are already have the experience and right now they learn something and they learn a uh, new side then they can apply into training situation with the the young athlete very well mm -hmm. good good okay very nice very encouraging uh and uh, hopefully like i said uh, we continue with our discussion tomorrow okay uh, i think with that uh we can uh close for today's session uh Iburuya. Back to you. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Ikawit, Mr. Fira, and all the respected coaches for today's session. So we will back again tomorrow, the last day, at the same time. So 9, uh, 9 p.m. Jakarta, Bangkok time, and with the Zoom ID, with the same Zoom ID. Okay, any question maybe? Before we close this this session. Okay then. Okay, thank you. So okay. see you. Uh, sorry, Pafera. So the the grouping still the same, yeah. Yes, yeah, still the same for tomorrow. Yeah. So we yeah. don't change. So, yeah. So we keep we keep the uh, the grouping uh, for tomorrow. Mm. Thank you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye bye. bye bye. See you thank tomorrow. You so much, thank you very much. You ADC. Thank you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yes, Tuti. Welcome. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Mr. Ramjan. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Ah, Thank you, man. Uh, Paria. Just you're welcome. Oh, sorry, oh, I just came back. <laughs> I just came back 10 <laughs> minutes ago. We <laughs> just ended. Sorry. I have guests. <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem. Okay. okay, so far, I think quite a good discussion. We had uh, quite I a look great in the last presentation. was okay. Was yeah, good. so quite nice. Uh, they are all yeah. Um, yeah. more or less the there. The 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 good ideas. Uh, are off, but generally, yeah. Idea is there. Yeah, yeah. And your feedback so, and your feedback is good. I think uh, <laughs> what we can do is uh, for future is uh, uh, to let them to create what I call uh, exercise catalogs like this. Mm -hmm. where they can yes. prepare and then they can compare. They know whether mm -hmm. for this particular exercise, uh, will you go under specific or other different exercises uh, that yeah. we will share? Okay. 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 Okay.
Hey, Kai Malai for any? I think he left already. I think he has been a busy man today. He's I know. Of course. He's, he's going, going to the gyms. Uh, now he's going to the gym. Yes. He's <laughs> on gym. Yeah. That's why I was telling him. Um, you only uh, retire in name. You don't seem to be retiring <laughs> from work. <laughs> yes. But it's also easy good. retirement. Uh, easy retirement. But it's good. At least I think yeah. he enjoys this. I think he's yeah, very yeah. enjoying it. It's very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Vida, for no problem. No problem. Yeah. Pleasure is mine. Uh, and we'll see you all tomorrow again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sunday, Vida. <laughs>